Hey y'all, Hestia's Helper here, and I know it said that it was going to be a while before you heard from me again, but listen, I finally got an order that I made from Flying Monkey Totes, and I have been super stoked waiting on this order. Um, so I had to share it with y'all. Uh... Flying Monkey Totes does Sabbat boxes with really beautiful hand-painted boxes, but they she also offers a monthly crystal subscription, and you guys, she does apothecary boxes. So, um, for my birthday, I splurged, and I got an apothecary box and a crystal box. Um... The apothecary box was $50 and I got it at that price point um, because I wanted to compare it with the other apothecary box that I got at the same price point. And I want to say the shipping for this one I think was only like $15. So, so far winning. Um, and then I did get the uh, $100 because it's for my birthday crystal box. Um, I have cut it. I haven't looked. I don't know if both boxes are in here or if it's one. I will say she got some weight. But first, did you see all these cute little Hello Kitty stickers? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So let's open it up. And, okay, so there's all this stuff and a box on top. So I'm going to move this off to the side. And we are going, oh, there's two boxes in here plus a bunch of stuff on the side. Okay. Um, let's start with this box okay yay I'm so excited how cute already so first we have this little card that says Beltane I'm so sad I'm gonna be traveling on Beltane oh Thanks. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so these are crystals. And I feel like everything else in this box goes with this box. And then we got a cute little card that uh, I can't figure out how to open. I don't want to cut it. Somebody make it make sense. <laughs> oh, I needed this today. I am coming off of, um, I'm coming off a rough week. Next week won't be so bad because it's, it's like traveling and, uh, I just, um, I won't be around the same people that I normally am. Oh, that's a whole bunch of stickers. So here's her card. And you can go right here. Flyingmonkeytoads.com Oh, that's pretty. Little man, mandala. And all these beautiful flowers. Pretty little sunflower. Oh, check out the sugar skulls. Sweet. Those are so cute. <laughs> so cute. Um. Okay, is this my... Oh. That looks like it says what's in here. 
Okay. They are labeled, so I don't have to guess, but let's open up this pre-night. I can, I'm just, I'm buzzing from this box, you guys. Like, it's just, uh, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, wow. So, it's a tower, but it's rough on one side. Oh, and it's got a little druzy in there. Oh. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, I love it. I need this. I need to take this with me on my trip. Uh, let's go here and we'll look at, oh, this one's not labeled. Not labeled and also wrapped in such a way I can't find the seam. How do you do that? <laughs> How does that even happen? Check out that skull. Good size. <clears throat> Sorry. I want to say sunstone, maybe? Maybe orange calcite. Love it. Uh, I guess I could move it so y'all can see. I want to keep it with the wrapper if it was labeled. So I've got so much to do the next couple of days. I'm really not going to be able to. Ooh, yes. Thank you. I got some uh, caramel chocolate. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. This one about broke my wrist. Okay, I'm not going to look at the label. We're just going to open it up and be surprised. It is a sphere. I don't think I have any spheres. I'll try not to rip the label. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, it's got kind of a green, but black. And when I tell you... This baby got some weight. Um, Comba Jasper, maybe? Oh, look at me! Yay, I got it. Oh, I that is beautiful. Oh. Oh, it feels so good. Put that there. And then, what's this? We got some incense. There's some Palo Santo incense. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here's another one that did, we can't see. Oh, this looks like a jar inside, though. So is it a... What is it? raspberry nectar okay it's some tea look at how cute that jar is I love little jars like this oh that smells so good so good kind of sweet and earthy at the same time and then it looks like maybe this is going to be a Oh no, this is a a bone box. I think Stacy got one. Was it from this box? I have some bone boxes. I need to fix them. Um they're really really old. I got a at a uh um yeah, I think Stacy got one of these. I got them at a um like an auction site. And look, the little clasp on there looks like a little owl. I don't know with the glare if you can. 
I can't find mine. But it looks like a little owl. And the ones on the back look like two little owl heads. And it's so funny because the ones that I have also have the purple velvet lining. So I don't know if that's how they made them or what. I am never going to be able to get these back in here. Oh my goodness. But I just think these little boxes are so cute. So cute. So we got a little confetti mix. That tells me what it is. Okay, so we've got an agate. Uh... Maybe a, a tree agate. And then maybe mookiite. Some yellow jasper. A moss agate. And then two little blue kyanite blades. Did I guess them all right? Green, white, moss agate. Yellow, red, mookiite. Okay, so these are both mookiite. These are both moss agate and blue kyanite. Oh, beautiful i love this one love love that one i don't know it just looks like it's got secrets oh. so far super happy with my a birthday gift to myself okay this one i saw there was a label but i tried to try to turn it upside down So I don't see. That's different. It's got a little what's it on the back? I'm guessing that's the back. Or maybe, ooh, I wonder if this is like a chime candle. Well, that's kind of, that's not flat in there. So it's not polished on that side. So I'm assuming it stands up like this. Shungite. Okay, sweet. Shungite. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, well, you know, your girl gets a little dirty. Okay, and I already saw this one. It's going to be a sodalite. Ooh, oh my goodness. I can already see through the pack. There's like pink on it. A sodalite tower. Oh, beautiful. Let me, can you see it better like that? I don't know if that you can. Either way, this lighting is not fantastic, but kind of, there's pink, like right here, going up into here, and it looks like some howlite at the top, a little bitty touch of green that is too bright to see, uh, this is beautiful, oh my gosh, look at the design there. Wow, wow, wow. Um, okay. Let's see here. Oh, got this big oh, it's a double terminated um labradorite. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. So much flash. It's got a lot of gray flash. I'm not seeing any other colors. Uh, but so much flash. Yeah. Oh, larvakite. Oh, I was wrong. That's why it's not really colored like, but oh my goodness. Are you seeing all of this? Ah, oh, I am like in crystal heaven right now. So, so thrilled. And there's more. This beautiful little purple bag with this little butterfly on it. Oh, I love it. Love it so much. So these crystal boxes come in I want to say four maybe five different price points starting with I want uh, Denise correct me if I'm wrong but the there starts at 28 what's in here 
Oh, it's the orthoclase necklace. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and look at that little sparkly. Look at that. I don't have any orthoclase, so I love, love this. And I love that it's shaped just perfectly into this leaf shape necklace. Little prehistoric roly polies. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there for now so we can see it. And then I think the last thing is in the box. I've got a whole bunch more stuff over here, y'all. <laughs> tea strainer that does not want to come out. This cute little very stubborn heart-shaped tea strainer oh oh there's a charm in there don't don't jack it up with a little bunny how cute I almost said let me in you, but then I imagine Stacy saying that's what she said, and so I stopped myself. <laughs> I'm not giving you the opportunity. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so we got tea and a little tea strainer. And then over here in the box, I've got another big something wrapped in bubble wrap and paper. Struggle, struggle, struggle. This is all combed. Combed. Came very well packaged. Oh my goodness. You guys. Look at this. Is this a huge chunk of raw Mookieite? This camera is not doing it justice. Like, oh my gosh. Wow. I know I just keep saying it over and over and over again, but you guys just don't even know. Oh, wow. Wow. That's awesome. And then in the box, I also have, okay, three things of cinnamon apple incense. Uh, does it say how many are in there? Eight sticks each. And two books. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to save that one for last. But we have the witch coloring book. Tap into the magic of the enchanting spells and potion designs included in the witch coloring book. Color your way through mystical images of herbs, skulls, crystals, spell jars, and so much more. Whether you are already a practicing witch or looking to connect with magic through creativity, this book is for you. The Witch Coloring Book includes witchcraft images such as spell work, rituals, altars, and charms. Witches use spell work for healing, manifesting dreams, and protection. They also use cleansing rituals to remove negative energy. Using magic connects you to your inner self, your intuition, and nature. Coloring can also help you connect to your inner self. 
through mindfulness and meditation. It provides stress relief and promotes relaxation. Get in touch with your creative side and begin creating your own masterpieces. There are no rules or requirements for coloring. You don't need to be an artist and you can use pens or markers or anything else you wish. These coloring pages will bring hours of fun and, enjoy and enjoyment. Oh, how cute. How stinking cute. Oh, and they're only one-sided, so you don't have to worry about it, like, if it bleeds through to the picture. But look at the backs. Oh, that's super cute. Oh, how pretty is that one? How fun. That's cool. A cat and a bat combined. Too cute. Okay, and then before we get into the other box, we have Love, Sex, and Relationship Dream Dictionary, your guide to interpreting 1,000 common dreams and symbols about your romantic life. It is obviously a previously loved book, um, <clears throat> but I am okay with that. Interesting. Contents. Introduction, people and animals, time and place, physical objects, ideas and whims, actions and scenarios, Acknowledgements about the author. Let's just let's just pick a page. I'm gonna just do a random flip and let it stop where it wants. And the first word my eyes were drawn to was vase. Dreams of a vase signify that you are holding space for your relationship desires that you hope will flourish. Because a vase is usually rounded and curvy and contains water and flowers, it is symbolic of the female body and the beauty it can hold. Whether you are a man or a woman, you may be dreaming of the feminine energy you contain. If properly channeled, it can produce and hold the space for your relationships blossoming. Okay. <laughs> and then my eyes just kind of darted over. And, um, I saw this. <laughs> so, uh, apparently it covers everything. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, I don't want to put this stuff away, but I have a whole other box to open. Um, put this in here. Oh, let's look real quick and see. So, the Kamba Jess for Fear. Okay, the Shungare is the Fear Stand. Okay. A Sodalite Tower. Polished Prenite with Raw Edge. Double Terminated Larvakite Wand. Orange Calcite Skull. Bone Carved Tumble Treasure Chest with Metal Triquetra and Latch. And then it's got all of those in there. Orthoclase Pendant, Raspberry Nectar Tea, Heart-Shaped Tea Strainer Spoon, Palo Santo Endo Sticks, Miscellaneous Stickers, and ch Chocolate. Okay, so the books go, and the other, um, the two books and the Cinnamon Apple Incense goes with the Apothecary Box. So... Let me just, eh, I have a different idea for that. Okay, so let me put this stuff back in here. Okay, so this also goes with the 
apothecary box, which is interesting to me. Oh my goodness. Mercury, Merc Mercury, Mercury is finally out of retrograde, y'all. And when I tell you this go round has been absolutely vicious, like between the solar eclipse and I mean, just there's just been some shit, you know, like, let me know down below if you felt it, because I know I sure flippin' have. <clears throat> Get that in there. That in here. That goes with that. These all. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, I'm trying to hurry because I know, like, we're already 25 minutes into it. And I've got a whole other box to go through. Okay. That there. Now... And this one's heavy too. So if this is the rest of the apothecary box, I'm going to say yes, worth way more than the one that we got from the other. Yes, this is going to be the apothecary box. Because we've got the kitchen witchery. Sweet. And then we've got a little cute little envelope that I'm trying to cut open so we can see what stickers we got with this one. Oh, I ripped it. Should I put some stickers on the outside? I love that paper. Nice and thick. And some more sugar skull. Oh, how cute. Oh, horse party. And a scroll. Okay. Let's get in here. So, so far we've got this. Maybe. This may be your freebie. I don't know. We'll have to check out. Check it out and see. Sunflower, Mammoth Gray Stripe. Okay, seeds. Got some sunflower seeds. Let me get this over here. I am not great at this, y'all. And then we have... Also labeled inside... Hand rolled luck and prosperity. Hand rolled luck and incense, maybe? Oh, I think they're candles. Oh, they smell good. You can see they're dressed. It's much, much darker down here than it is up here. I'm trying not to do any damage. And there's a charm. I'm so glad I had this sent to my P.O. box because it got hot today. And there could have been damage done. How cute. So two beeswax candles, gold and green, with cinnamon and a little feather. <sighs> Super cute. Super cute. And we got some nuggets. I love me some Hershey's nuggets. Uh, let's go here.
Another one of those super cute little jars. We have some rows. Mm, still smells like dried rose, so pretty fresh. And we've got another one like this. Mugwort. Oh, that light's so bright, you can't see it. Good chunk of mugwort. Let's go over here. I'm guessing these are going to be chime candle holders. I got cinnamon on my hand. Cinnamon and shungite is what your girl is coated with right now. <laughs> Let's go this way. <clears throat> yeah, we got some chime candle holders. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Are they a matched set? Are they a matched set? They are. That. And then we've got hand rolled Palo Santo and bergamot sticks. I can't smell them through the. She wrapped everything up so pretty. Like I don't want to mess it up, but I want to see and I want to smell. Ooh, you know what? These look like these would be the good... Yes, okay, so these I can put with that box where we got the other Palo Santo sticks that I haven't used because I'm like, this is the only thing that can go in here. But now I have a refill. Yay! Then we have this little box. Nod Champa Beauty Soap. Okay. Interesting. Want to smell it? You know I do. This is what it looks like. That's a very, um, I mean, it smells like nog. It's, uh, but it's not super, super strong. So, yeah, that'd be a good little bath soap. Um, Lavender and Baby's Breath White Sage Bundle. How pretty. How pretty. I cannot smell anything other than the sage. I will tell you that, but it's super pretty. Um, charcoal discs. I'm not going to unwrap those because my hands are already dirty. Let me just throw some stuff on the floor. 
Oh, Apollo Santo angel carving. What? Oh, that's precious. That's precious. Now the wings make a little heart in the back. Oh. Um, we have an unmarked tube like thing. Unmocked. Uh, this feels like a candle, maybe? Let's see. All this tape. Oh, not a candle. Not a candle at all. Beltane oil, jasmine, lilac, honeysuckle, essential oils, sweet almond, and carrot oil. I want to smell it. She taped it up so it would not leak. I don't know why I keep speaking in accents, y'all. I... Just that kind of a day. Which I'm glad she did tape it up because it did leak just a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. I can already smell it. Oh, that's delicious. Oh. Oh, there, it's not. I was expecting a rollerball. It is not. Oh, but that's lovely. That is. Oh. Oh. I can definitely hit the, I love honeysuckle, and I can, I can smell that very, very well in there. And just a touch of the jasmine. Um, I'm not getting much of the lilac, maybe as like an after note. And then we have two, oh, no, three, four, four more. Okay, so we've got some sandalwood incense. Move this box. I think. Huh. Turquoise and azurite. Oh, I bet this is going to be so beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, look how beautiful. Oh, I. I love that. That is just, oh, and look at the, can you see like the, it looks like watery right there. Oh, oh, I love that. I'll put this with this. And then we have another little herby container. And we've got some wormwood. And another one of these cute little. And last but not least, it looks like we've got a candle, maybe? And when I tell you this thing is heavy. Oh, maybe not a candle. May okay, so it's a cauldron. It's a green cauldron. Cute. Cute, cute. It's made out of painted cast iron. Wow. 
Wow. I don't know why the, my phone just did that. My battery might be going dead, so I might have to hurry. And this is, yes, definitely cast iron. Oh, how cute. I love it. Love it, love it. Okay. So, Willa's Apothecary Box. Hand-rolled Palo Santo and Bergamot sticks. Sandalwood sticks. Palo Santo angel carving. Lavender and Baby's Breath White Sage Bundle. Hand-rolled beeswax candle with sweet almond oil and jasmine oils, ground cinnamon, and palo santo. Uh, ceramic triple moon candle holders. Rose petals, mugwort, wormwood, beltane oil, mammoth gray sunflower seeds, turquoise and azurite heart, nagchampa soap bar, Cast iron cauldron, charcoal discs, and chocolate and stickers. You guys. Okay. So, we'll come back to this. But this and these books she just threw in. How stinking sweet is that? How amazing. I love it. This is why you shop small businesses because they, they hook you up. Okay. So I should have picked a favorite crystal, but I'm going to tell you right now until I spend some time with them, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Um, this little box, I think. Oh, and then we got growing sunflowers from seed and what you need to do. Uh, this absolutely, because it's going to be great to burn stuff in. Um, I need something other than, I, I don't care for my soap dish container that I use and the other things that I have aren't quite as heat proof as cast iron. So I love this. Th this was a necessity for me. I love it. Um, and then the hand rolled sticks. This smells beautiful. This. So, so beautiful. Um, I will say, as an apothecary box, maybe not so much on this one. Um, I, I, I don't... Yeah, we've got a few little things, but uh, when I think apothecary box, uh, I... I think, you know, a bunch of ingredients that you can use to make your own stuff. Um, so, as an apothecary box, not, not quite so much. However, as a regular box, uh, $50 for this. I'm going to say yes, because this super weighted um there's quite a bit of stuff here that like these she handed uh i mean i i would be okay with this box for 50 dollars. the crystal box definitely worth what i paid for it but um i don't know you guys tell me down below what you think again here is her information if you want to make your own order sorry this video ran so long uh, if I'll be honest I'm about to pee my pants right now so I'm gonna go remember you are all the magic you need and I love y'all bye